Hi, it's Mark Sinkowitz, and welcome to a special edition of the German Nation podcast. We are highlighting the recipients of the Canadian Plant Breeding Innovation Scholarships for 2023. These scholarships are made possible by a variety of great sponsors, Alberta Barley and Alberta Wheat Commissions, CNM Seeds, Canadian Seed Growers Association, FP Genetics, Germination, Nutrient Ag Solutions, Richardson, Sasquatch Development Commission, Secan, Warburton's, Western Grains Research Foundation, and Seeds Canada. Loveline Dillon is a recent graduate of the University of Saskatchewan. She's researching how to bolster nitrogen fixation in pea. The 30-year-old's research broadly addresses the challenge of improving nitrogen fixation in pea, building on research conducted by postdoctoral fellow Tony Yang. Nitrogen fixation is a key benefit of legume crops, and expanded use of legume crops in cropping systems is a critical approach to reducing greenhouse gases to address climate change. Loveline's journey in plant breeding actually began in India, where she grew up. So I belong to uh, Punjab, the part uh, of India uh, on, on the northern side. And uh, it's uh, it's a state where ag- agriculture is main occupation of about 70% of the population. So I've always been uh, involved in one or the other way because I was born and brought up in in a, in a family of farmers my my father is a farmer my grandfather is a farmer so i have heard all those stories about you know agriculture how it used to be in the olden times and how uh, it has evolved so i think i had natural inclination towards crops because I have uh, i i spent my childhood in those far farms you know seeing the crops grow growing up and then celebrating a good harvest she joined punjab agricultural university where she did her bachelor's degree and master's degree in agricultural biotechnology i think there i got to know about more about agriculture and crop production and how what are the various challenges that the farmers are facing and I got to know more about the evolution of agriculture from the older times and then how how green revolution has impacted agriculture and uh, how it has revolutionized the field of agriculture with the help of plant breeding and genetics. I think the role played by plant breeding and genetics in green evolution is what that had, you know, drove me uh, to pursue my career in plant breeding and genetics. And I think from there, it went on. It all led her to coming to Canada and doing her PhD at the University of Saskatchewan. Her PhD research in bolstering nitrogen fixation in pea has an important role to play in the future of the crop. Canadian agriculture, it relies heavily on the usage of inorganic nitrogen fertilizers. These nitrogenous fertilizers, if not uh, presented to the crop at right time, and you know in right amount they have more detrimental impacts on the environment uh, in the form of nitrogen uh, nitrous oxide emissions which you know are a major environmental pollutant so we need to definitely look for the alternative field pea being a legume crop can fix atmospheric nitrogen naturally It can satisfy its need for nitrogen through the process of nitrogen fixation. It satisfies its own needs and also leaves a nitrogen-rich site for the next crop. Bolstering the process of nitrogen fixation could encourage more people to grow field pea. Incorporating the field pea into our agriculture systems can reduce the dependence of on nitrogenous fertilizers and could present an exciting uh, alternative to uh, the crops such as canola and wheat which are high in nitrogen demand. It could popularize pea as uh, as a main crop uh, and also uh, with the recent popularization of Beyond Meat products and all, pea is an excellent source of protein and we have found in our study that if the uh, nitrogen, more nitrogen fixation is there in the pea crop, it leads to more protein accum- accumulation in the seeds. As a 2023 Canadian plant breeding innovation scholar, she has some advice for people just embarking on their plant breeding careers, and that is to be prepared to work hard. Sometimes what you're expecting could take years to come, and it may not come at all, so you should have 
patience and uh, I think with continuous hard work and with an excellent teamwork, uh, you can achieve uh, good results. And uh, I think your uh, the tendency, the the passion to always learn, even from your mistakes, is what makes you a good plant breeder. The 2023 Canadian Plant Breeding Innovation Scholarships are made possible by the Alberta Barley and Alberta Wheat Commissions, CNM Seeds, Canadian Seed Growers Association, FP Genetics, Germination, Nutrient Egg Solutions, Richardson, Sasquit Development Commission, CCAN, Warburton's Western Grains Research Foundation, and Seeds Canada. Thanks for listening.